Okay, I'm Alex Stein, Primetime 99. I am the king of the conspiracy castle. Today we're going to talk about the moon. Before I get on my spiel, I have to let my opponent go, but I want to say today, if you know anything about my opponent, Tom Jump, T Jump, whatever you want to call him, he's a formidable opponent, but he's missing one key aspect. He does not have his chair. And without his chair, he's lacking his power. So today, I'll just preemptively say, I can show mercy on you, T Jump, and just be kind on you because I know that you're at a disadvantage without your chair. Or I can just bring the pain and humiliate you in a way that's just embarrassing for everybody. But I don't want to do that because I love you and I love the chair. And with that, the floor is yours. Uh, thanks, Alex. I don't know what his intro had anything to do with the topic. The topic today, in case no one knew, is um, is did, did we land on the moon? That's the topic. What is it, the introductions? Uh, introduction. If you said introduction, then I'm going to go and talk. About, you're going to introduce yourself, then I'm going to do my... All right, yeah, we need to introduce introduction. Uh, introduction. First, I'm T Jump. Yeah, I run the YouTube channel T Jump. Did you think that was my opening statement? Yeah, I thought that was. No, 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 no. Typical no. Alex. I mean, yeah, no, no, that's not my opening fit. statement. Um, no, 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 no. I, I was just doing an intro. I talked a little longer. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm T Jump. I run the YouTube channel called T Jump. I sell bathtubs um, on my YouTube channel, and that's all I do. Um, I'm gonna conclude there. Wait, what do you mean you only sell bathtubs? You do your debate. You, you do debate. That's like a side job. Okay, okay. I was about to say, I was confused. I thought you're only debate lord, but we are debate lords. Okay, so with that, I'll start my time. And guys, you know, uh, 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 I'm clear my throat. Excuse me. The problem with you, T-Jump, is that you're a, an ad hominem debate is where I would go after my opponent instead of the topic of the debate. And I don't need to do that today, but I do want to do that at the start because you're missing your chair, you're going to lose. So we're going to get stop with ad hominems at the start. I just want to get that out of the way. Now on my spiel. In 1969, they told us with technology that we destroyed, that we cannot rebuild, that we were able to go from Houston, Texas, not very far from here, Houston, right down the street, and go 237,000 miles to the moon. And we didn't just go to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to go to the moon. We were able to orbit the moon. We were able to eject from a capsule and land the lunar module on the surface of the moon. We were able to eject a car from that lunar module. We snuck golf clubs in that same lunar module and played golf on the moon. This is all footage of it. Then we got back in that lunar module that looks like something out of a kid's uh, you know, uh, arts and crafts session. We were able to blast off without one ounce of the, the firepower that it took us to get to the moon. To get to the moon, it took rockets as tall as buildings. But to go from the moon back to Earth, it just took a little lunar lander and just some push. And we just were magically able to go the entire way, 237,000 miles. But forget about all of that fairy tale about it. This is the point I'd like to make, because I got a little time. Hold on. When you look at the absurdity of the story and the fact that you have a guy named Warner Von Braun who was brought over in a thing called Operation Paperclip, Warner Von Braun was the top Nazi rocket scientist for Hitler. And so when we won World War II, what happened was is we brought over the top Nazi scientists to run our space program. This is all declassified. You can look it up, Warner Von Braun. And Warner Von Braun even said that we didn't have the rocketry to go to the moon at the time. But forget the fact that, we're, that our whole NASA program was created by Nazis. The problem with the moon is this, and for me, there's a million things other than like, we can talk about the press conference after, but for me, this is the one, this is the, this is the example that I like to talk about the most. most. We gotta, we, there's a lot to unpack. It can take more than 10 minutes to describe it all, but we were able to go from Houston, Texas, 237,000 miles to the moon with technology that we destroyed that we can't recreate. But on the surface of the moon, in the sunlight, it is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. In the shade, it is negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So in an instant, it is a difference of 400 degrees. This suit, which we, re we can't recreate it today, 
was able to go from a 400 degree change instantly with battery technology that we don't have today. And if you compare a 1969 Lincoln Town Car to a 1999 Lincoln Town Car, there's a lot less technology, but you're gonna have to somehow in your mind think technology goes backwards when it comes to space technology. But on top of that, this, this space suit, Forget the fact that, don't even worry about the rockets, guys. This spacesuit that was able to do something that we're not able to do today, and uh, you know, obviously we don't have, um, I don't have a laptop, I don't have a screen here for you know, a presentation, but you're gonna have to take my word for it, you'll have to look into it. Not all the astronauts, but multiple astronauts in the recording, they snuck a golf club on there. And a couple astronauts, and this is all, you can look this all up, you can fact check me, Towards the end of the mission, they were playing golf on the moon. And one of the astronauts says, oh, I can't play golf, my hand hurts too bad. So when they came back, there's multiple photos of NASA. You'll see astronauts cutting the cake during their celebratory NASA celebration. And the reason was is most of the multiple astronauts had got bad calluses on their hands because the hand mechanism of the suit didn't work. So we had a suit that is the most technologically advanced piece of technology ever created that can do things with battery power that we don't have today. But the federal government couldn't even get the thumb mechanism to work. Yet it can do everything else. It can go to the moon, it can go in the moon's orbit, it can shoot off a capsule, and then all that. And then on top of that, it can go back and re-meet up with that same capsule that's orbiting the moon. And then it's able to steer itself to Earth. It's laughable. It's a joke. But the problem is, is people have what is called cognitive dissonance. Even though you know it's basically impossible, today we can't go there. In your mind, you want to say, oh, well, we went because the government, it's good. They wouldn't lie about it. It'd be too, it'd be too hard to lie. Somebody would, would tell on it. But the problem with NASA is it's compartmentalized. Like, how does that work? Well, think about like, you know, in a company like Fox News or whatever, you know, even Tucker Carlson, the top guy, he doesn't know what the CEO is talking about in the boardroom, if they're gonna fire him or not. I'm just saying, you could be the top star of a network and there's still gonna be some sort of producer and somebody above you in a boardroom talking about you. You don't know if you're gonna get fired or not. NASA is similar than that. You might even have a high position, but your job can be fired by somebody else. Your information chain may not be connected to something that you can even expose. And so the problem is, if you're based in reality like I am, and you realize technology, like the internet, was life-changing. I don't know if anybody will argue that, I don't think T-Jump will argue that, but the reason why the internet was created by the military is because they needed to share files from different buildings, so they created the internet. The entire moon landing was done without the internet, without a fax machine, through snail mail ordering custom modified parts that we can't recreate today. You would think that they would have every single mold, every single thing. I mean, this is, we still have the Constitution. We still have a lot of artifacts. But these artifacts that we can't recreate and we can't reuse to go to the moon, but in 1969, we were able to do that. And you say, oh, well, I saw the footage. Well, if you look at the official story of the footage, when the press was in the Johnson Space Center, they did not have a direct feed from the moon. And don't even get me wrong, you know, on the moon, they were able to call Richard Nixon and have a phone call with Richard Nixon from the moon. Or in Dallas, Texas, guys, if I go to Allen or Grand Prairie, I don't even get service. If they had cell phone service in 1969, before cell phones, before the internet, why did, okay, if you can believe that in your mind that they had the technology to talk 237,000 miles, yet they wouldn't, they didn't have the technology to bring that same technology and, and use that as an application on Earth. Do you realize a suit that can go from negative uh, 200 degrees to positive 200 degrees? There are so many applications you could fight, that you use to fight fires. That would be a very important suit. He's laughing, he's laughing. Like, he doesn't know what it's like to fight a fire. He's an arsonist. But unlike my arsonist friend, guys, there's a million different things we can look at the, you know, we really need to look at the press conference after. I mean, it looks like all of the astronauts' dogs were killed. I mean, they were very sad. And if you look at somebody that won, like, you know, a basketball game, people were just pouring champagne on themselves. It's a, they weren't celebrating because they knew it was a fraud. 
and with the moon landing, you're like, well, why? Well, there's a bunch of different reasons why. And one of the main reasons is, is Richard Nixon was a crook. We know Richard Nixon was a crook. Uh, he got impeached. You know, he's one of the, or, you know, I guess he withdrew himself, but he was going to get impeached. So he resigned. And he is the only president... He was the first president to get us to the moon, and why that's important is because JFK was a socialist, for lack of a better word, and the federal government, he asked the federal government, what is it going to take to get to the moon? And NASA said, you can give us the entire federal budget. We couldn't get to the moon. So he knew that. And what people were scared of, and this is my tinfoil hat conspiracy theory now, is that our space program is basically a a what you call a black operation in order to pay people within our own government it's like in this is how it's related you can watch a movie called american made and it's about how the cia traded drugs to nicaragua for guns and then used that money to fight wars in iran it's called the iran contra and the reason was is the cia couldn't get funding from a politician to run their black operations so what they did is they subverted the constitution they subverted the government and they created a way this all declassified one minute to make money and so the NASA program basically does the same thing is they tell us they need all this money and it goes to things that we don't know about so that's a big reason why that's so important and I believe JFK would have ended the space program I mean he would have done space exploration but he would have the moon mission knowing that it was impossible he wouldn't have wasted the time or the resources and because they had put so much into it they didn't want they had to basically hedge their bets and by faking it they knew that it would make them look like a technologically superior nation and at the time they needed a moral boost in the country but at the same time nobody even cared by the second moon mission people were mad that the moon mission was taking over during their I Love Lucy reruns that's true look that up so that's what people think about space so with that, there's a lot to unpack. I obviously have a lot more to say about the subject, but <coughs> that's my time. <coughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I noticed that Alex said that he just got to his tinfoil hat thing about 20 minutes into his opening. For me, it started at the like, 30 second mark. <laughs> Um, so, did we go to the moon? Yes, yes we did. There are still parts there that you can, they can see from the space station. And you can bounce a laser off of the reflectors they put up there. There's three of them that you can use to triangulate the position of the moon that are still there. And you can you have powerful laser, you can bounce a laser off it. We brought moon rocks back. Moon rocks are awesome, by the way. They're not like Earth rocks. And we couldn't make them. It's, it's great. Um, they have no volatiles. So, no um, nitrogen, carbon, dioxide, ammonia, hydrogen, methane, sulfur, dioxide, water. No, none of those. In anywhere in the rock. Can't find anywhere in the rock. We couldn't like create rocks to do that because these are um, a certain kind of rock that comes about through lava. Kind of, so it has to like melt. So in order to create it, you have to create lava in a vacuum, which we can't do because we don't have a giant universe creator. So these things are not things we could just make in a vacuum. We have rocks that we know are from the moon. Um, secondly, there are no mineral. There's no mineral hydration in any of these rocks, which is when water mixes with different crystals it makes a new crystal that isn't there before um, called a hydrate none of those on any of these rocks we know these rocks are definitely from the moon um, we can again go to space people are continually going to space it's, it's a thing we can take pictures um, I don't know why he thinks that we can't make the lunar lander today we could it's just dangerous and a piece of crap equipment that is way below the specs of the requirement for what NASA requires you to actually build it's crap technology of course we're not going to rebuild it um, this is not, it's not that we can't, it's that we, we have higher standards for less crap. Um, he said we should use space suits to fight fires. Uh, this, this is, that's a genius idea. Let's spend $20 million on every single firefighter spacesuit. Genius! No one thought of this. Clearly, clearly no one thought of this. Um, also, there's, in, in firefighters, you have these things that can, like puncture your suit, and space don't really have that problem. Di different suits for different problems, um, Alex. 
Um, he mentioned that the, the EMUs, apparently the spacesuits, couldn't be made today. Yes, yes, they are made today. They're, they're made better today. Again, they're pretty expensive. I don't know, I don't know why he thinks we couldn't make them. It's, it's very confusing. Uh, yes, there are 200 degree temperature changes in space when you're in the sun and when you're not in the sun. It's both on the moon and anywhere else where there's no sun. It's called insulation. That's how that works. Um, how, how did they get the lunar lander off of the moon? Well, I needed a big rocket on Earth. It's because there's a difference in the amount of gravity on the moon and the Earth. The moon's considerably s smaller. Alex, gravity is that thing that holds you to the ground. I don't know if you believe in that. Um, but yeah, so, so the God, it takes a lot less energy to get the lunar lander off the surface of the moon and into space and back to Earth. It takes a lot more when you're on a bigger rock filled with atmosphere. Um, yeah, I think I think that covers it. Um, there's not really much more to go on. Yeah, we've definitely been to the moon. We can remake the lander. Um, yes, we we can rebuild spacesuits. We we do. They're they're new. We're, we're using the new ones. They they exist. Um, lower gravity on the moon. Hey, hey Alex, what does ipso facto mean? It doesn't mean. I didn't say ipso facto, and it doesn't matter what ipso facto means. I will conclude there. Okay, so listen, guys. He says that uh, we have moon rocks. I just want to pull this up. This is NPR, if anybody wants to Google it. It says, in 1969, three Apollo 11 astronauts visited the Netherlands. Netherlands. The U.S. ambassador gave the Dutch prime minister what he said was a moon rock. What an expert saw in the rock in the museum he didn't think was real. Geologists have identified the moon rock as petrified wood. You see, that's NPR. So, so how did they identify it as not a real moon rock? You're telling me this is this is you're saying how can they identify it as not a moon rock? Yeah, you can't yeah. you can't tell something that it's not something. I mean, mm -hmm. they know it's petrified wood, so because it's petrified wood, they know it's not a moon rock. And That's how, answer. how do they know it's petrified wood? Because there's there's something in it, right? Listen, I'm I, I didn't do the test. I'm just telling you this is what NPR said, guys. They got caught. He said that we have moon rocks. Yep. The moon rock that he's talking about, you guys can look it up. The, the moon rocks, his main thing. They say a rock specialist, a geologist, which I'm not. I'm not a geologist. I'm sorry, teacher. Alex, if you thought I was that's a geologist, that's not the rock I'm talking about. Well, I'm saying this is the moon rock that they that America gave to the Netherlands. I just want you guys to look at this. Gave this rock to the Netherlands. This is NPR. This is not this is not a conspiracy theory. And that rock was looked at by a geologist. And he determined that this was not from the moon and that this was actually petrified wood. So, okay, so let's even say that they got real rocks. Why are they giving people fake rocks? Doesn't make sense. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. What? So, so, Alex, how many rocks did they bring back? How they many? said they brought a bunch of rocks back, yeah. but it were the only rocks that have actually been tested by non-NASA have come back as petrified wait, 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 wood. Wait, wait, wait. So, where does it say that's the only rock that's ever been tested? Did it say that on there? I must this is the it. only rock that's ever been done, tested independently by a museum. No, that is no, out there. No, that's not true. Okay, so it's just funny how you're going to say no, 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 yet I'm showing the evidence. So, <laughs> so, what's, so what's, the, what's the story behind so, this rock? Well, just explain this one. You're, you're trying to talk about a other rocks. A guy lied. Oh, so you think, oh, so you're telling me this geologist expert at this museum yeah, is yeah, a liar? So, so, so is that petrified okay, wood see, rock? That's what wait, 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 it's uh, just Alex, funny. Alex, see, Alex, that's where he has Alex, to come. He has to go. A, a Alex, specialist. Alex, he knows Alex, more than question, a rock question, specialist. Question, question, that's the guy. Alex. This is a, You're a master debater, yet you know more Alex. than a geologist on NPR Alex. that studies rocks for a living. You know more than him. Time. Too, time. Sure. Time, time. So, Alex, petrified wood. Do you know what's different between petrified wood and, and moon rocks? Uh, you know what? I'm not a geologist, so I'm so, not going to pretend to know. And I doubt you so, do so either. No? So, so it's a no. You don't know. I don't know the difference so between it, a moon rock do, do because think, we've never had one on Earth. So that's do, why. Do you think it might I don't be know the properties Alex. of a moon rock. So, so, I don't even know if it's a rock is the problem with the moon. Can you condense your responses? Believe, to like, what I'm saying is I don't necessarily think the moon is a rock. So you're telling me to compare what a moon rock is. I don't even necessarily think a moon rock is real. So that's what I'm saying. So, so well, I definitely want to touch on that In the part. only moon rocks that we've had independently Alex, tested, Alex, don't interrupt you. I've come no, up as petrified no, wood. No. So I want to go back to that where you said the moon is not a rock. I'd love to hear more about this. But do you think the difference might be that in petrified wood, there are volatiles and hydrates, whereas they're not on moon rocks? I mean, might may that have given them a hint that it's Did not you on moon rocks? Nobody cares about volatile and hydrates, dude, okay? Listen, the facts are the facts. I know it. But listen, this is another thing. Well, well, he, tell me more well, about well, the moon that's not a rock. What is, well, what no, is this, it made this, of? No, Cheese? Well, maybe. Queso. Okay, we're in Texas. But listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. He wants to try to, oh, what's a moon made of? Well, let me go to his other point so I can debunk that. You guys can search this right now. Uh, he goes, oh, we're able to shoot lasers off the moon. Well, if you watch a video of us shooting a laser off the moon, there is this big thing. <laughs> it's a big laser. What happens is it shoots, and then a computer screen comes 
back and it prints a bunch of numbers like, oh, we hit the thing. But if that same technology, no, that same laser technology, you look it up, USC, before the moon mission, before 1969, we were able to shoot a laser off the moon. Did you know that, T-Jump? <sighs> yes. Did they shoot it off of those metal things or was it off something else? So we've already been able to shoot, a, I'm saying, I'm happy that he's, he's honest and he admits that. We were able to shoot a laser off the moon. We were able to do it. USC, you can look this up. Before they say that these magical uh, reflectors are all there, yes. now we shoot them off the reflector because the computer screen says 1.9. Yes, Alex, the surface of the moon is reflective. It's a big piece of metal. It can, you can reflect light It's a big piece it. of metal now. Yeah, yeah, so it's, a, it's metal rocks. or rock? You, you do realize metal is a rock. I don't it's know. Listen, kind of I know Metallica but, but Alex, is Alex, a band. Alex. That's so, all I so know. Could you measure these three points and triangulate the exact distance of the moon before You'd have to know. We'd have to know one distance to triangulate it for sure, and I don't think you do. Would know Triangle to requires three distances. Um, no, I'm saying you'd have to know one, though, for sure to triangulate the other two. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, that's the, the point if of laser to, to measure. That's, that's what I'm saying. So I don't think we know the actual... We don't know that the moon is 237,000 miles away, in my opinion. Alex, light travels at a set speed. If it travels well, exactly. in one direction, well, we can measure it, the distance. Well, listen, it's funny because you say that because if you look at the light from the moon, the inverse square law of light... Look at this up, guys. Look up inverse square law of light. The light that we see from the moon is so strong that if we were to land on it, it would be like landing on a light bulb. It would. It would be so bright. I swear, look, you, all you have to do is, this is how you can figure it out. You test the lumens that we, so a light, the, you see the moonlight, guys, you're at the lake. This is true. You can measure the amount of lumens. So let's just, for simple mathematics, it's a hundred lumens. So you can, through reverse engineering, through the inverse square law, you can figure out how many lumens it took is the original source of power if you go back 237,000 miles. And if you reverse engineer it, look at this, inverse square law, it would be so bright that an astronaut would be walking on a cigarette. It would be like walking on a fire. It would, I mean, it wouldn't be, it would be so bright and hot, you would not even be able, if it's the same moon that we see in the sky that they land. Yeah, if, if the diameter of the moon wasn't 2,000 miles and it was like the size of a light bulb, that would be correct. The amount of light that comes off the moon would be as hot as a light bulb. Luckily, the moon's a little bit bigger than a light bulb. No, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I just believe that. I know the moon. What? I mean, the moon's bigger than a light bulb, but I don't think what you said is necessarily true. And your point that you're trying to make is what I'm debunking. Because when I see the moonlight, oh, is that my pizza back there? That is for me. Okay, good. Oh, uh, yeah, good. Uh, I got here a little late, but so I get a piece for beating you, right? Yeah, you can have a piece. You're not beating me, TJ. You don't have your chair, guys. This is the problem, though. And like, this is what I said earlier with the moon. Oh, I still want to know what is the moon if it's not a rock? And you said it's like so. It's, so it's a light bulb. Size, not I believe it's a light. I believe it's an energy force. And if you measure the moonlight compared to the sunlight in the shade of the sun, if it's you're out in the sun, it is hotter in the sunlight than it is in the shade. That's why you go to the shade to cool off. <laughs> it's Listen. hotter in the sun than the shade. Yes, that's a fact. But with moonlight, it is colder in the moonlight and warmer in the shade. Because of radiation, not because it's... That's what he says. Thing. That's not true. That's not true. It's because it's a different light. He, oh, he says it's the Earth's radiation. That's what they're always going to say. It's like, oh, yeah, this is because of this. Well, no, that's not why. Yeah, he doesn't know. And, and this is the problem. This is why This is why he's being um, ingenuine. Because all these... And, and I know T-Jump has a nice guy. He's a nice... He has, I don't think he has bad motives. But these same space people tell us, and I want everybody to pull out their phone and, and look up a real picture of a planet. Look up a real picture of a planet on your phone right now. It looks like a shining bright light. It doesn't look, not the cartoon, go to footage of a real planet. And once you realize it looks like just a, a light trinkling, you'll be like, what the hell is that? But they tell us that they can look through a telescope and look at Mars through a telescope and tell us the surface, the temperature, the atmospheric pressure. There you go. Real planet. Um, from those Hubble. are all cartoons. Nope. Look at a real Hubble. planet. Hubble. I swear to God, those are Hubble? all cartoons that you're looking at. Hubble. Google real picture of a star Hubble. and look at a video. Those are, if you Google the top searches, those are all, they'll even admit it. The sun those, is a star. We can get real pictures dude, of those it. Those are all cartoons that you're looking at. But I'm saying, this is what they tell us. Uh, look at a real picture of a star. That's all you have to type in. It looks like a flintering light. Look at a footage of it through a telescope. There's tons of videos on YouTube. It's not the magical ball that they show us. Now, 
Saturn has rings. I mean, there is a ball's aspect to it, but I'm just saying it looks totally different than the cartoons that they give us. But this is the problem, is that- Have you seen it? Yeah, have I seen the footage? Yes, but this is- So how I'm, do you know it looks different than the footage, if it comes from the footage? I'm saying the cartoons look totally different than the YouTube footage through a telescope. I'm talking about footage through a telescope, and they stick a camera through it. If you, you haven't seen it, because you would know what I'm talking about. It does not look, <coughs> it does not look like what you think it looks like. I'm just telling you, you're gonna have to take my word for it. Video footage of, of Saturn. Of a star, yes. Uh, um, a star or Saturn? This, a star? Of any, you can do any of the planets. They all look different than the, the sun, cartoon the rendition. The sun looks the same if you look at it through a telescope and take a picture of it. Well, the sun's different. The sun looks it's totally different than the way the planets look because of the distance. But listen, um, real pictures of planets. Because of the distance? Yeah, well, because I believe I'll, the sun is closer than those planets. That's why. Um, <laughs> but listen. The sun is closer than the I planets. believe the sun and moon are much closer than they say. Yeah, for sure. Because that's why it doesn't illuminate the whole Earth. But listen, we're here about the, we're here about the moon. Let me, just, let me just tell you about doesn't this. Doesn't illuminate, like, the, you, you can, is the Earth you, flat, Alex? I don't think it's a spinning ball. I don't think it's flat. I just don't think it's a moving. Um, I think the sun and the stars rotate around us is what I think. But that's, that's neither here nor there. And even Einstein said that we couldn't tell the difference whether we were moving or we were still no, in That was Newton, universe. and that has nothing to do with that. That wasn't Newton. That, that was, was Newton. Einstein and Newton. They both said it. So that's who it was, Petrucka. <laughs> both. How you like that? And let me tell you something. He's just mad because he's losing because he's trying to defend this idiot the technology that doesn't go backwards. You said that we doesn't have... Doesn't go backwards. You said we have better technology... You, you, know, you said you, we have you, better you, technology today. Then why can't we land on the moon today if we have better technology today? Oh, we can. That's yes. why we haven't done it. That's why they, every year they say we're going to do it, but why, then we don't why do it. Why haven't we wasted $2 billion to put a person it, on a big rock in the moon? Oh, my God. We can't do it. It's impossible. See, now now we're being... This is this. is We're arguing about something that doesn't have to do with the moon, but if you don't think putting a person on the moon would be the biggest marketing campaign ever, if we could somehow use the moon, if we could have a camera on the moon that faces the Earth, a 360 cam, that would be the probably the most viral video of all time. We don't have that. So you're saying, oh, we don't want to go to the moon because we don't want to waste money. Yeah, we waste so much money on our space program. Our space program is like laughable. They have, they can all, the farthest we can go right now, according to our NASA program, is the farthest we cannot go outside of low Earth orbit. That's the farthest we can go, our space, International Space Station. This is human exploration. We cannot send a human past 237 miles away from the surface. Yet in 1969, this is today, we can't go 260, we can't go 300 miles away from Earth, guys. This is what they tell us, International Space Station. But in 1969 through 1970, Two, six times there and back. We weren't able to go 237, 237 miles. We were able to go 237,000 miles and back on one tank of gas. It's impossible. It doesn't work out like that. That's all I'm saying. Current plans for future space travel to go to the moon today. We can do it. Oh my God, Google. We can, uh, yeah, I believe it, then we would be there. That's what they keep saying. But they, but they Why actually, would we be actually there? they said that, that we don't have a suit for a woman right now is the last thing NASA said, is that we don't, we don't have a space, the, what the suit designed a for a What does a suit for a woman have to do with being able to go to the Because moon? they're gonna put, a, they, according to their plan, they're gonna put a man and a woman at the same time next time they go, which will be never because they can't do it. And now with technology, I mean, guys, you guys don't believe me, just look at so the footage. So they do have the technology you know and making one for a woman too? That's just what you keep saying. We do have the technology. You say we have better technology now, yeah, we can't go. Yes. We went. Have we, you seen one of we these? We went 230. But listen, listen to you. I don't want to get all hyped up because we went 236,400 miles farther in 1969 than we can go in 221 or whatever year it is now. Safely. Does it make sense? Yeah, but it's because we had lower and safety guys, standards. And, and listen, we didn't even talk about the Van Allen radiation belt. You guys Google, <laughs> what, what is, Google what is the that? Van Allen radiation belts. They what have, is that? It's, what is a, that Alex? it's belts of radiation, according to NASA, belts? that are so. Belts? What, what is radiation? made out of, Alex. Listen, this is what you said last time when I talked about it, or with yep. Big Tune. You're like, oh, what is radiation? It's made out of rays that are harmful to you. That is what radiation is. It's yep. rays, yep. okay? Yep. And so you got some gamma rays, you got some gay rays, you, <laughs> and you have some straight rays, me. And so, you know, and, and what happens is... So, so what's the density of the radiation in the Van Allen belt? It's 6.75 squared times 9. It doesn't matter no. the density. No, what no. matters is that we can't go through it today, so we can't couldn't do it in 1969 because if you compare the technology today, the computers are like this big, but in 1969 they were the size of this room. So I guess somehow they got better because they got. Uh, so, so Alex, uh, Alex, they, 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 
<laughs> Alex, d does the Valley Island Belt have an exact same radiation level the entire way through it, everywhere? No, that's what they no. say. They say there's just spots in it where it's, yeah. oh, a little less radiation. Ooh, that's a cute story. <laughs> sure. It's the only reason they had to make up that story is because they debunked themselves by saying they couldn't go through the Van Allen radiation belt. So then they uh, had to reverse engineer and say, oh, well, actually, luckily, in 1969, we went through this magical small part of it where the radiation wasn't that bad. It's bad in, area, in other areas, but we just got lucky. Alex, did they know about the Van Allen belt back when they did the moon landing? The astronauts didn't know about it. If you watch a movie... Did, did NASA? Did NASA know about it? Did they plan this? Well, uh, of course, Van Allen knew about it. Yeah, so he knew about it. So, so NASA knew about these things? And, and if they, Van Allen would know about it, yes, NASA would know about okay, it. Okay, and so and there's different patches, some with more and some with less area. But the astronauts, I'm saying, guys, listen, he's trying, to, he's trying to say, oh, well, they knew. They know. Oh, they can map it out. Yet they don't have a camera what? there. They don't even know. They know all the radiation. They know exactly which hole to go with the radiation. But listen, we don't, what, we don't, what holds the Van Allen belt in place, Alex? Is the, it, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Mag <laughs> is it a magnetic field? Can you, can you measure a magnetic field, Alex? Can I measure a magnetic field? Yes, I have so, a so magnetic machine. Know. I find know. shit all the time. And, and, yeah. and there's these things on the top. Listen, you're trying, to, you're trying to make, this is what they say today, is that we can't go through the Van Allen radiation belts today. So we can't find that hole. Yes, that we same can. Hole. No, we can't. Yes, we can. We, who, who is saying listen, we, who is saying we okay, can't go okay. through the Van Allen belts? This, 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 this is the last Google video. Wars. This is the last doing video. This. I'll show you this. this. NASA says we can't go through. NASA says we can't go through Van Allen radiation belts. So I'm going to show this video, and then you're going to be debunked, and then... Then you just have to be quiet. Um, Can we uh, go through Van Allen belt? Hold on, we're gonna have to pull this up. But the Van Allen belts, radiation belts, aren't impenetrable. Impenetrable yeah, solid barriers. This is it. They're belts of radiation of charged particles. Hold on. Good we're gonna see. Well, let's see. Let's go. Okay, come on. Can we pass no, on. the Van Allen belt? Hold on, belt. hold on, hold on. This is it. What? Van Allen belts are not a physical barrier, and so in principle we can this, go through them. Yes. We're, we're, no, we can't. Hold on, hold on. This is, I'm going to show you NASA. Can hey, this we is it, go this through is it, the this Van Allen NASA. belts? This is a NASA video. Who can see this? Hold on. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth. 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. This is NASA. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this can harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on a ride. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. Shielding? What is what is shielding? Yeah, but it can't go today. I'm just saying it cannot go. We cannot pass through. So, so they have magic shielding back then that we don't have today. Exactly. We can't recreate the tech. Oh, they have force fields. No, he doesn't believe me. He doesn't believe me. No, no, listen, listen. This is what he's saying. We can't go through the Van Allen radiation belt. But this is talking about a potential thing. We don't have these shields yet. He's saying he's saying the rocket that we're going to build when we go to the moon in the future will have the shielding. We don't have the shielding yet. So I just want to reference that. But let me just go to this. Let me show you Don Pettit. This is one of the biggest astronauts. Moon painful. Let me show you this. This is this is how he describes what we did with the technology of the moon. And this is this is the real uh, leader of of NASA. I one go of to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. This is oh, exactly wait a minute, wait a minute. We Alex, destroyed Alex, that technology. Alex, Why would Alex, you destroy Alex, that technology? Alex, Alex, so, so he said this 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 weird phrase that yeah. confused me greatly because uh -huh. it seems to contradict your introduction. You get confused. He, he said it would be a painful process to rebuild them. Is that did, they did I hear that correctly? Rebuild wait, it. Wait, so wait, that's wait. his excuse because he's giving us word Alex, salad. Alex, does painful and cannot are those synonyms in your dictionary? If they could, they would, and they can't, so they won't, and they don't. That's why we're not going. And so you can say all you want. I'm just telling you. According to NASA, guys, this is their story. We can't go past low Earth orbit today. We don't even have the rocket. We're going to. One day we're going to have the shielding to go through it, according to NASA. Right now, according to NASA, we cannot go farther than 237 miles away. Without the shielding that they could rebuild. With they the could rebuild it. That's what they're going to say. They, they, when, they, when they go, that's what they're going to do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. listen. So they're gonna, I, they need to build a new I shuttle. I could build.
build a new house. I could do a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to do it. I mean, yeah, but that means that it's not that they couldn't. So that when you, that time when you said they couldn't, that that part is wrong. Well, he's the liar. I'm the one telling the truth. <laughs> so that's how it works. Don Pettit is a liar. He's a Freemason a freak that is, you know. Okay, but listen, this is this is Barack Obama. <laughs> Early in the next decade, a set of crewed flights will test and prove the systems required for exploration beyond low Earth orbit. In the next 10 years, we're going to be able to. Listen to that. In the next decade, listen. So, so early in the next decade. Early in the next decade, we're going to. And, but in 1969, in 1969, oh, we went right through it. Oh, we went right past the Earth orbit. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, we got it. Alex, Alex, when they build when they build a new ship, do you, do they normally test it? Okay, they... I'm ready for Q and A. I agree. I, I concur. All right. Oh, uh, Alex, what is what does ipso facto mean? Because of that or whatever, you know, it no. means because of this, it means that. No. Nope. What does it mean then? The fact of the matter. Oh, that's what it means. Because listen, I'm Texas Twang. We have a little different interpretation of stuff. Where are you from? Uh, Texas. No, well, no, you're not. <laughs> I can tell a Texan. So. Uh, the way we work Q and A, if you queue up here, and I've been told actually that camera, the microphone is working on that. So if you stand close to the camera over there. Wait, would you give him one of ours? That was. Do you want to do it that way? Yeah. Hand that to you, Chris, and let them. And I'll put this, this. mic. Here. Feel free to ask any questions you may like. Uh, I will say this much. The last time I debated was in 1984. Things have changed a lot. We landed so on the moon. Appreciate that very much. We didn't have these little things to uh, look into and play videos on. Uh, yeah. We had notepads and pens. So appreciate it, guys. And appreciate everybody here making debate on what it is. So please come forward with your questions and let's get these guys uh, thinking on their feet. Yeah. <laughs> I got the first question. Nice, nice. Just stealing it, just going there. <laughs> and before we start here, I'm sorry, one last inter interruption. I just was informed that when we raise our voices in here, they can hear it amazing. <laughs> extremely well. So, so we could keep the volume down. I thought. This is on? Is yep. Alex, I got a question. Oh, yeah, what's up? You said earlier we went from Houston to the moon, but I feel, I think that rocket took off from Florida. I think it Doesn't did. Doesn't that destroy your entire argument? Well, no, it's because this is why. No, this doesn't destroy the whole thing. It's because that is where the, uh, you know, that's where the... Oh, sure. The reason why is because that's NASA headquarters is, the, is NASA. You know, that's how they say Houston. But, yeah, I get your point. We did go out of Cape Canaveral, Florida, but you know what I mean. Flo this is another thing is we talk about LBJ he became president after JFK and that's another big reason why NASA they created in Houston is he chose that so like NASA if you want to be like oh it's good for America because it did bring in a lot of money to Houston so that is true but yeah okay you're right it did go out of Florida but the mission controls in Houston where they called uh, without a uh, uh, delay on the phone line which for me it seems impossible okay thank you um, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence to me so not having the technology available right now for inspection does not necessarily mean that it there never was. Now, I think that NASA perhaps is not recreating that technology because it's not necessary. Perhaps they found not having a need to put a human beyond what we've already accomplished. So I think in order to demonstrate a conspiracy, you've got to kind of demonstrate something else with that. Um, the question would be, you know, how, have, you re have you thought about that? How do you reconcile uh, such an objection? Oh my God, that's the best objection I've ever heard in my life. Not? Okay, listen. Because the app 
absence of information doesn't mean it's true because we don't have that technology. That doesn't mean we didn't have that technology before. Is that what you're saying? Because we don't have it today doesn't mean we didn't have it at one point. Correct. Well, forget about the technology. It's not about that. It's about the ability. All right. So it's like um, we were able to go 237,000 miles in 1969. But according to Barack Obama, the farthest we can go is 237 miles. So forget about the tech. Just our progress has been that's going backwards so our progress has been retarded not forwarded so because of that we should be able to re-engineer that old technology in a way that gets us past low earth orbit but according to barack obama which this was done i think eight years ago when he made that speech he said in a decade we'll go to low earth orbit we still cannot go there so i just don't think that we went that far if we can't go there today okay thank you but i like your question it was a good, I was just teasing you. It was a good question. So, uh, I, I, I was born and I grew up in the um, uh, Soviet Union. You know how propaganda was in Soviet course, Union about yeah. the American state. Real quick, before you ask me the question, yeah. see, Russia was the real space leader. So right. I think you'll admit that, though, T.J. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They were the true. It's yeah. just funny that they, Russia beat America in every other space race except for getting to the moon, which is weird. But go yeah, so Yuri Gagarin was the one first, you know, went the to the uh, space. Uh, Payekhele was the word that... Uh, you know, like, let's go, right? But, um, you know, growing up, you know, I've seen, like, all this, uh, it, of course, you know, in the in that area, like, um, the, the footprints not matching or, you know, p like, somebody taking a video of the Neil Armstrong coming down from the, you know, opening the thing, you know, the, the flag, you know, like, waving. All this, I mean, there's so many arguments. Uh, and also, like, a uh, thing, you know, like, going up, you know, I who's taking that picture? I didn't hear any of these arguments, any of these uh, visual yeah. ones he's talking about, because I have any, those that you had. We didn't yeah. have any visual displays. Oh, he always debunks that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I mean, like, if it's so vivid, you know, like, so obvious, you know, why NASA... Is, is NASA still, you know, like, uh, politically, you know, like... Um, uh, biased, you know, or being, you know, like narrative being controlled by the political, you know, with the political agenda. For what sure. What do you think? Uh, okay. I know for, because every director of NASA is always changes with every president. Like it was Bridenstein. I forget, it's now some really old guy with white hair. I can't think of his name. He's like, he was an ex-astronaut. I just can't think of his last name. But yeah, with every administration, it changes because they got to be in control of it. Because like I say, I mean, t not answer this. I believe the space program is some sort of black operation money laundering scheme they can use that money for whatever they want they say oh it's for space because it oh this thing costs a million dollars but yeah or you know they can launder that money and use it you know for the it. government can print money right like just <laughs> exactly but with that but you need approval to print money now if you can do a subversion black ops like the iran contra you can do whatever you want with that money without having to go through any politicians like it takes to print money so that's why it's different you do need nasa needs approval to fund them right not to do a black ops. You don't need approval of anything if the CIA is running it. That's how Iran Contra is ran. That's just how the Iran Contra is. They didn't ask anybody for permission. That's why I put drugs in the black community. Are you? Oh, you missed what? it. He just missed it. He, he's, he's. The what community? That's why they put drugs in the black community. Aren't you in the white community? How do you know about the black community? I'm two percent black. Wow, you could have fooled me. Y'all would have loved a great debate. Man. I would love to debate sometime. Oh, I'll debate you next, but he's in line. Please let yeah. the guy with the mask on first. I don't want you to catch COVID. Do you have a mask before you ask a question? Where's your mask? I don't need to wear one because I'm the entertainer. Oh, because you, you, you got daddy's money? If, if, yeah, well, I do have a little bit, but seriously, yes, my dad does okay. You know, he's a carpenter. He's a good one. Um, but seriously, if you're going to ask a question, you need to wear a mask. Can why do you, get, look, like, why uh, you look like Tucker Carlson knock on Dollar General version? Why do you look like you're vaccinated? You look like, you look like you're vaccine injured, honest to God. Tucker right, Carlson yeah, today. Go ahead, get back on track here. Go ahead and ask your question, and then we'll continue. I'm sorry. And your girl says, let's oh. have sexy time. You turn on Fox News. Well, she likes Greg Gutfield. I mean, she's, she's sexy. Kyle, let's go ahead. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, my black brother, but I'll be back with you. Um, sorry, brother. <laughs> um, I had some quick, couple, couple quick questions for you, sir. Uh, a fan, though, even though we are not on the same page, but That's a great cool. fan. I, okay. I like your enthusiasm. I, I did hear that they could fear the fire coming in here. Okay. But uh, my first question is um, you, your your argument is that not that we went into space it's just that we landed on the moon 
That's right. Yeah, yeah. You believe we went into space? Well, I mean, they say they send rockets up there. No, I don't think so. As they like say, the I don't. I don't think the space program is what they say it is. Dude, will you be quiet? You're other just chewing on the thing, dude. I'm trying to talk to this guy. No, I'm serious, dude. I'm gonna call security if you don't put on a mask or shut your mouth. Or you can get your dad to sue me. Yeah, I'm gonna get my dad to sue you. He's an attorney. He's gonna file a lawsuit. Stop trying to evade the question. Stop trying to evade the question. What's the question? So, so do you believe the space station? Dude, shut up! I'm trying to ask him a question. Get up. No, let him ask his question. Don't kick him out. Let him ask his question. Come on. It's okay. He's cool. Okay, next ask. Just, just, okay. Dude, Ben Shapiro, dude. Don't call me Ben Shapiro. He's like five foot two, dude. He's five Which is not a problem. black like you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, do I believe in space? What well, do you believe the space, uh, the space station that's up there is up there? Oh, you're on flat earth, the earth is flat. Well, I don't think it's a spinning ball, so that's well, why. No, no, him. I'm trying to do a teacher. Oh. No, not you. Do you believe the... Okay, dude, listen, man. We're out here doing stuff, dude. Go pay child support or something, man. <laughs> Seriously, dude, don't you have like a bunch of kids? <laughs> like, is PlayStation Live going on right now? Aren't you supposed to? Oh, he's wrong for like that one. Call of Duty group or something? <laughs> um. <laughs> So you do believe the space station is space currently right no, now? No, I don't believe that because I don't believe it. The space station they say is going 17,500 miles an hour. That would mean that it would have to travel five miles a second. I don't think matter can physically move five miles in one second. So that's just what I think. Um, and, then, and, and listen, you're like, oh, well, I know satellites work. There's another thing I want you all to look up Sataloons. If you look up NASA is the biggest consumer of helium and the second biggest consumer is the Department of Defense. So, and Sataloons are real. You know, there's ones that have fallen. So I believe the things that do go in the sky that work are on balloons. And my last question, my last point as well is, uh, as a guy who's a skeptic, I always go, not just going with my uh, belief, but going with the objections to, uh, Russia does confirm as well that uh, U.S. landed that spaceship on the moon. Yeah, and I know. They're much so alive. you're talking about enemy, the guy who we were against. They're not really our enemy. They, well, during the time, they, they, did, they did everything to the bunking, and they confirmed at the end. The person that we should be they going had, against they mostly. They okay. because all their space shit was fake, too. So they have to. Oh, okay. That's why. That does. I mean, okay. Saying, is that space real? I mean, is space how they describe it? I don't know. I've never been there. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Child support time. Child support. Here we go. You want to ask me about? Ask T John, dude. I don't need to answer any questions. I'm tired. Bruh, stop. You need to. You need. You need to say your morning prayer to Donald Trump in the name of Fox News before you answer this question. Dude, don't bring Donnie into this, dude. Melania is the best first lady ever. I have a thong picture. Her and a thong. In my bed. Weirdo, bro. Okay, my question is, uh, it's actually gonna be for him, right? So you believe in the uh, space, yep. right? So if the the Earth spinning like a thousand miles an hour and stuff, you feel me? Uh, when NASA go up there with their little space station, space shuttle, whatever, and they are with the astronauts taking video and pictures, why the Earth still number one? It's not moving. How do satellites keep up with everything? And uh, I was gonna say, how does gas so, pressure exist next to a physical? No, hold on, hold on. Without a physical barrier. Gravity. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. How, how come it question, do that? It, it, it is moving. You can actually watch the videos from. But it's still. Well, it, right no, now, I like it's still. Earth is really big, so it moves oh, at really dude. fast speed. But it, you, you don't see it because it's really. Big. It's so, but it's, it's still in the same place. Right. So how is it? Geosynchronous orbit. So it just goop. Go, you missed it? <laughs> <laughs> no, the things that are going around the Earth are still in its orbit. So they go with the Earth. They remember to say like the moon is? The moon is going with the Earth. So it's moving so quick, it looks like it's still. It's because it's so big. So if I spin a thousand miles an hour right now, I'm, I'm going to look still? <laughs> um, if you and another object are both spinning at a thousand miles an hour, yes, right. you will look still. But they outer space. They ain't, they in outer space. Right. They not spinning. They not. So, so, so if you're on a train. Like my rims. If you're on a trend. See his chain wait, wait. spinning. Oh, this spin. Yeah. All right, look. Earth Does that look? Spinning. Look at that. Uh. Does that look like the Earth that's spinning? That's flat. <laughs> that proves it. So, so if you're on a train going yeah. uh, 200 miles an hour, and you're on a sports car going yeah. 200 miles an hour, if you're looking at each other, you'll look yeah. like you're both going still. Even okay. You're both traveling at the same nah. speed. So in outer space, they ain't spinning though. They, they are. Yeah. The outer space is orbit spinning a thousand miles an hour. They, they go around the Earth, so they're spinning around the Earth. But they're not in the Earth. 
exactly. if they were in they in outer space and outer space isn't spinning yeah so so the the things in outer space are moving so you think space Jim, he's crushing you <laughs> i'm just confused that don't make no sense this guy um, is definitely in the special have you seen education an program at his school as asteroids move in space they go like you see them in the night sky they're going across the yeah i see that so that's the, the asteroid is moving but outer space is still well outer space also also moves a thousand miles an hour like that um yes but okay so next question is why is the uh we ain't been back to the moon money there's no reason to go back to the moon but we can print 5.1 trillion dollars debunk dude uh, money's money is an issue guy's killing you this guy's high on weed and he's I'm, killing you trust I mean, me he's on molly ecstasy he's doing better than you do. oh, oh, down down that. Slow um, here for that store but, but he, he's doing better than me but you're getting debunked twice uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah this is so a tag team session we spend money on infrastructure we don't actually we're not one printing team, one in the state we're not <laughs> We're not printing $5 trillion. We're going into five point one for $5 trillion. Um, and ye, that's a spending bill that's going to take about 20 to 50 years. Oh, what about the billions of dollars for gender studies? But we can't go to the, uh, we can't go to the moon? Then you're trans, yeah, it's because right? it's not funded by Congress. Congress gives money to things, and they're not giving it to the moon program. Okay, but gender studies is important? No, I think it's stupid, too. But what? No, gender studies is important. No. I do yeah. gender studies. Uh, do what he I'm says. Still, I'm gender fluid, go so I don't... To, go back to Fox News. What? Call Tucker Carlson. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something about Tucker Carlson. A, uh -oh. I'm baby Tucker Carlson, and B. Oh, we know. We, we can see. Just that. because I'm obvious. beautiful and I have a good tie on, yeah, doesn't mean we landed on the moon. It's a cheap tie. Um, it's not a cheap tie. It's it's uh, made in China. So let's be good. let's be 100 right now. You look like the frat boy from every movie. What? Yeah, I guess I, so. I mean, dude, I, listen, I'm like a, a mixture of Charlie Kirk and Tucker Carlson. I have a lot of insecurities Carlson. lately, man. I've been looking in the mirror, and I'm not really happy with what I've been seeing. I mean, my weight's a little high. Mm. My my blood pressure's not at a great level when I check yeah. it. My oxygen meter, I'm not even oxygenating my blood that because you've well. been stressing about these conspiracy theories so much. Yeah, I know. That's true. And my dog actually You went from in. porn addict to conspiracy theories <laughs> real quick. I will pass the bike to the next. Yeah, that's true. People got their favorite. Porn star. Hold, on. Call of Duty, Hold on. Hold on. People got their favorite Call porn Duty, star. What's your go. favorite conspiracy theory? My, What's your favorite uh, conspiracy theory? Uh, my favorite. Your favorite one genre is uh, is uh, no is Michael Jackson. I don't believe Michael Jackson is guilty. I think he's innocent. Yeah. He was. was. you up in his, Was you up in the, yeah. uh, Was you in Everland? Uh, what's it? Uh, what's the ranch called? A Neverland, Neverland Ranch. Ranch. Was you up in there too? Yeah, I was molested by somebody else though. It wasn't by oh, Michael okay, Jackson. Pass to the next All right, See ya. <laughs> <laughs> What about gravity, man? Uh, gravity's bullshit, okay? Listen, I know. But hold on, hold on, dude. I can prove it is, uh... I know, no, no, but this... That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. No, you're saying, oh, you know, oh, that means gravity. But no, let me let me explain. Let me let me debunk gravity real quick. So right now we'll fall, right? And so they say Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity because an apple fell on his head. But if that apple fell in a puddle of water, it would have floated. Why would have floated? Density. Because it's less dense than the water around it. So 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 it would have debunked it. If heavier stuff is supposed to fall down, why is it floating? It's because the reason, no, it's because that's exactly, it is. Buoyancy and density is why things go up and down. So this is how it works. It's not because of gravity. The only non-relative direction is up and down. Because left and right can be relative, your left can be my right. But up is always up, down is always down. So things are always going to fall down. But if this, same, this same water bottle can debunk gravity. If it falls into water, it's, it's going to float. But what about, so, but it's, isn't, isn't kinetic energy and all that come into play. I don't know what you mean kinetic energy. Like, well, roller coasters, right? Just yeah, but... but up, then it goes down and goes back up. But, but, but because there's happen. kinetic energy, that proves that gravity is what's holding everything to Earth. I believe that it will make it go down, right? It'll no, I don't think that. Because when, like, gas pressure goes in omni-directions, it doesn't go just up. It goes down as well. Yeah, so Well, that, that's kind of a problem, because if it goes in omni-directions, how does more dense stuff push anything down? I, well, that's what I'm saying. It's not because of gravity. I'm saying, I'm saying because there 
there is, it's non-relative. The only thing is up and down. So you're talking about the gas just can go any direction. That's, that's not, density. that's non-relative. That's density. So, so density can't push things down. Well, you're talking, you lost me about the kinetic energy, but you're, well, just, you're just, this is, my, this is actually his question. I well, but you're, know. yeah, no, it's cool. But I mean, <laughs> you're trying to say like, oh, you know, I can prove gravity. No, I'm not. No, 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 not you. I'm not even hating I'm on you. Skeptic. I'm of course. No, and I love it. Learn, I love it. I want to teach you because I am the professor. I'm primetime 99. I teach a lot of class. I have a, you know, I'm a viral sensation right now with my video. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. yeah, well, I'm a viral sensation for this video, uh, T-Jump. You haven't seen, guys? Uh, well, he's fucking that up. Any more questions from the audience? KFC vegan. We got one more. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get, hold on. This is, is this a mic? You need that. Oh, hey there. There you go. Is this on? Go, Where is it? Can you hear me? Three gotcha. retweets. No, I got more Twitter followers than you, bitch. Right? T-Jump, 99. Yes. Question. Okay, so now I know you're a belief in gravity. Okay. What's up with the title uh, switch between you know, moon's orbit? Why does it pull the Well, see, the I don't water? necessarily think that is, I don't think the moon is what causes the tides. I mean, that's what they say. I think it might go in conjunction with it. Because, like, if you look at the moon, you know, for part of the, you know, it's it, the moon, it tells you a good story. The moon has 28 day cycles and has 13 perfect cycles. It's a 364 day year, right? So our, our old calendar actually used to be 13, 28 day months if it was all. What does this have to do with the tides? Because it's really important that it does that. It means the sun, moon, and stars are a clock in the sky. They move at a perfect time. If you look at the way that the moon works, the 28 day cycle, there's part of the, si part of the time we can't even see the moon and nobody even knows. So what about the water? So that's what I'm saying. We don't even know where the moon goes when we can't see it. So they tell you that that controls the moon. But what about the water? <laughs> well, why do we have waves? What you wouldn't know why is the tide, tide shift. Yeah, I don't know what causes the tide, but they say that the moon causes the tide. I don't, I don't necessarily believe that. I mean, it could that's be the only thing I understand so far is a. I don't believe the moon causes our tides. Do we notice the difference between the new moon? Or I guess it's still there. So it's just night and day. Oh, yeah, I don't know either. Okay, curious. Yeah, yeah. That, that, I mean, like I said, I'm trying to find this video so I can show is him. It the lizard people? No, it's not <laughs> lizard people, but. Uh, well, it's because you party at night over in this part of the ocean and it moves over here. <laughs> All I know is this, dude, is the moon is not 237,000 miles away like they tell us. That's what I say. Okay. So it's not because of gravity. It's not because of denseness. You've never had 3.3 <laughs> million in anything. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's because you did believe in gravity and the moon was denser, even though it's closer, and so that caused the... See, I think the moon's a light. I don't believe it's a, a ball of... I haven't tested the shadow theory, but I've heard it a few times. Have you? Yeah, it's, it's not a light. It's, it's not a light. So have you tested the whole... Uh, well, he's oh, correct. The temperature thing is correct. So it actually is moon light does have a radiating effect that actually makes it seem like it's a lower temperature. That's harder to detect. And, and if, you, if yeah. you're at fire, this is one thing that's weird. Sunlight, like, let's say you're at the beach and you light a fire. If you light it in the sun, it's less combustible. But if you light it in the moonlight, the moonlight makes the fire on a beach more combustible. I'll have to try that. Wind, it's how. always windy on the beach. Yeah, I don't know how, but it does what it does. <laughs> that's not me. That's not me saying that, T-Jump. So don't get mad. No, I mean, it's me the, saying the, it, but it's not me. Thanks for this gift. You guys have a good night. You're welcome. Thank you for your question. <laughs> Are much any, better than other guys. Follow question up. We got another one here for you. Uh, Alex, I'm so sorry. Uh, You're sorry. This is, this is, no, no. Uh, I just, no, no. It, it's, it's a question a lot of debaters get asked at the end. What would convince you to believe that we land on the moon? Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the moon is going to be really hard because, like, oh, they're like, oh, we got this footage from Stanley Kubrick. Um, and, like, you know, they're like, oh, we have a rover on it. So what would they have to do? I guess you have to have, like, I mean, and they could edit this. I would say, like, oh, a GoPro of, like, the, you know, the whole moon mission of them doing everything. I mean, from, like, obviously it'd be hard to change the batteries and stuff. But I'm talking about, like, a, a not a, a, a continuous live stream. But even that could be fake. So for me, it's going to be hard because the, this is what gets me mad is when they and the teachers say, oh, we can figure it out. I just don't like that they tell us they can look through a telescope of Mars and they tell you every single thing about it. I just don't think that's genuine. So who says that? What do you mean who says that? That's how we did it. How, we, how do you think we got the technology to put a, a rover on Mars? We were only able to look at it through a telescope. Nobody's been there. Yeah, we don't know everything about Mars, but we can see it and then measure where it's moving. With, you know. with it, I know, but that can tell you every single thing about it because you no, look at it through no, a telescope. No one says you can say everything about it. Well, you know the temperature. You know how to create a technology that can roam around, that can fly like a drone technology yeah, because by light looking at it. You can literally measure Because the light. light reflects off something, you can tell everything about it. That's just absurd, dude. Like, think about it. There's stuff on Earth. You know, the part of 
listen, the works. farthest we can go that on Earth, the, the deepest we can go is eight miles, the Marianas Trench and the Great Borehole. Uh, so there's parts of Earth, there are species of animals in our ocean that we don't know about. There's, there's conditions on Earth that we don't know about. There's inaccessible points that they say are North Pole and in the South Pole on Earth that we can't get to. Yet we can send, we can't send that same Mars rover to the to a place on Earth, but we can send it to Mars by being able to tell all the information about Mars's atmosphere by looking at it through a telescope is the only information source. And you say the way light reflects on it is going to tell you everything about something. Yeah, that's false. Like, that is the, yeah, you, that's why it's called a, a, a theory. No, light, light reflects off different particles differently, and so you can measure the. So you can tell exactly. So you know exactly what the temperature is going to uh, be. Not exactly, but yeah. with a high degree of certainty, yes. Yeah, that's what you guys are just going to have to believe that, or you can just be based in reality. That <laughs> when you look at the te- when you look through a telescope, you can't we, we can, tell we can, everything. We can do it here on Earth too. We, we can look at something. We can't. We can't use that same rover and go. You know, there's points. No, 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 in, there's no, an like, inaccessible point at the North Pole that we can't send anything no, no, no. to on Earth. Did you know that? We, we can look at. We don't things. even. We can't even send a Mars rover here. We can look at things and see the light and know what it's made of and know what temperature it is. The same electricity. Cool story, bro. As they say, we can test it here. Cool. I, I can tell you like uh, negative seven. <laughs> I'm hot, 99 degrees. I got a hot pizza over there. All right, uh, is that it? And with that, then I want to take it. You have any closing comments you want to make before we wrap up? T. John, you know, I, I I showed you a lot of mercy today, you without your chair, and so I just want you to show me the same respect for me not totally annihilating you and letting you make it, as they say, because these are lovely people for spending their afternoon with us. And I don't think you should, you know, have to go to your hotel room or wherever you were side after this and cry. And I want you to mix and mingle with these people and have some self-respect and dignity left. So you're a formidable opponent. And I will do this any day against you, any time. And uh, it was a pleasure. I hope you guys at least, you know, maybe you don't agree with me. That's totally cool. But maybe you'll like Google some of the stuff I uh, told you to Google. Like pictures? T-Jump? Any last closing words? Um, I'm ready for my pizza, Alex. Give me. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. That was fun. Oh, my God. That was so good.